Recent Halo MCC development update goes into a lot of information about the custom game browser and how we will get a chance to play this very soon as well as some more information on boss within the MCC as well. So stay tuned throughout the whole video to understand all the details. So as we do every Friday, we get a nice little development update from 343 talking about what's going on with the MCC. Obviously, we had the release of Season 6 recently, and now people are sure looking forward to the custom game browser as the next big feature that everyone's looking forward to to come into the game. In this update, we actually got some concrete details I want to share with you guys. So if you guys like these news and informational kind of videos, make sure you tap that like button. Let's be in and want to see some more content like this. If you want to stay up to date with everything going on with Halo as we ramp up to the release of Halo Infinite, Make sure you tap subscribe. Let's get right into the content here. Well, let's just go through this development update and give you guys all the little details that you need to know. So that right now they're talking about the team is hard at work resolving issues and conducting a variety of tests internally with our Ring One partners. All signs point to things being ready for prime time and are inching closer. Now here's the big news update here, guys. I'm sure you're really looking forward to. As early as next Thursday, we are working to get a scale test underway for custom game browser in Master Chief Collection for Halo Reach. If all goes well, it will kick off then and run until the following Monday. Though they do state that things are subject to change as things always have been with the MCC. So don't give your don't take your day off of work for Thursday because it might still not happen. But things are looking on track to have that actually be part of you know, this weekend. And they state that as soon as the custom game browser is taken offline, they'll take some time to do some analytics and evaluate some different supporting systems to make sure that things scaled properly. And if there's anything that needs to be changed with the custom game browser. To me, this seems like kind of fast because normally with any kind of flighting or testing with the community, it's at least a week, if not two weeks when it comes to testing. Now, obviously the custom game browser only being for Halo Reach right now, that I can see that they may only have like a few days where people actually would be interested in playing it. Now they don't really mention exactly if this is a flight test or if this is going to be an experimental playlist that's going to be patched into the MCC or something like that. It seems like they might be trying to do some more public experimental things with the Master Chief Collection as right now there is the waterfall only playlist but it does have the tag of experimental because it's not fully polished off properly. I'm sure the Xbox One console might be having some chuggy frame rates. And I did see recently that there is a glitch where like all the textures disappear and all the walls disappear for some reason. I didn't come across that with like my two hours of playing on it on stream the other night, but I do know it's a definitely an issue people have come across. But the main thing 343 is going to be testing with the custom game browser is more just the game flow of things. How are people getting in and out of matches? How is the UI? How are things kind of flowing for you when it comes to utilizing this service because it's not going to be like Halo 5's custom game browser. It's actually going to be much better than that. They did in this development update saying in phase one, players can create game sessions in Halo Reach that include up to three custom game browser variants. Each custom game browser variant includes a single game variant and up to six multiplayer maps. So unlike Halo 5, where it's just like you just jump into someone's lobby and they're just kind of like, you know, controlling exactly what you're playing next, this seems like more you're kind of setting up a server almost in a way. It's all going to be on dedicated servers, so the connections are going to be rather solid for the people who are going to be able to connect to them. So this is much more than just like, hey, come join my game. It says, hey, come join my server. We have a variety of things to do on here. And yes, if you don't know, you heard me correctly saying that it's only going to be for Halo Reach right now. Essentially, the custom game browser is a very complicated system and trying to do that for all the games in the MCC adds a huge level of complexity where it seems like what 343 is doing is wanting to start small with just Halo Reach, which already has a rather large custom game community with that and rather feature rich game where I think it's actually probably a really good start. I think maybe the other good start would probably be, would be like Halo 3. Though as soon as 343 recognizes they have the custom game browser in a pretty good spot, then they probably would start branching out to the other games as well after some good community feedback and some analytics on the some bugs and game flow as well. But talking about game flow as well, they also talk about new features coming to the custom game browser. Saying right here is talking about key features being added to the custom game browser over time, including enhanced game creation options, filtering, 
quick matching and several ways to make it easier for friends to play together. And kind of like how I mentioned earlier, how you're really kind of more like setting up your server rather than playing a game with this custom game browser for the MCC. So they talk about, will people be able to do like 24 seven playlists in a way? And it sounds like it's kind of in a way saying, while there is a possibility for servers to run for extended periods of time, we do not have the ability for a server to remain up indefinitely at this time. Which I think sounds about right. I mean, I don't know how they're gonna be able to monitor this really, because I can imagine if someone just wants to just play Blood Gold all day long, right? And they just AFK throughout the game, but just their system is running all day long. Possibly that's something that could be done. Or maybe that it resets like at 2 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. And so then that's what kind of ultimately like a hard stops all the servers or something like that. We'll just have to understand these details a little bit more the sooner we get a chance to get our hands on it. Talking about being able to play the MCC the way you want with the recent addition of mod maps into the MCC with CE. If you guys don't know, custom, custom edition maps are now playable within the Master Chief Collection for CE. As long as you take that custom edition map, rename it like out whatever original map is in CE, then you'll play that custom edition map. So they talk about modding support and modded maps within the custom game browser. And it sounds kind of eh. Right here stating, we are focused on bringing each game and currently planned phases out ahead of any exploration into adding mods into the custom game browser. Modded content has several additional requirements above and beyond the traditional game and map variants needed for support. This is a bit of a bummer for me, honestly, because I was actually really hoping to play like custom edition maps in a custom game browser session. I think that'd be super fun. I don't see how that wouldn't be possible as I've right now with the MCC, if someone owns a modded game version of the MCC, you join their custom game, you're able to play the mod just fine. But this could be more of like a licensing kind of issue when it comes to cross play with PC and Xbox and Microsoft and user generated content, utilizing the brand, brand name of Halo and stuff like that. It gets really messy. Though 343 did just iron out a licensing agreement when it comes to mod support for the MCC. So I think we're just really in the early stages of this. Uh, if you can maybe do some modded maps, I would love to be able to do that. As soon as we get a chance to play it, I'll let you guys know on this channel. Next up, we have some really good in-game screenshots of what the custom game browser is going to look like. So here we have, we have the multiplayer menu right here. You can see you have social, competitive, custom, and custom game browser as an option right here. Scroll down a little bit more, you can hit, you can hit either browse to find a lobby you want to join in, or hit create to, well, create your own lobby in a way right there. You can see this is what the browser tab is pretty much going to be looking like. Obviously, it's not all going to be SWAT and 1v1s. These are just placeholder names and things like that. But this is basically what you'll be seeing once you hit browse for the custom game browser. You scroll down a little bit. This is what the create the game session kind of looks like. You can see the minimum amount of player, the max amount of players, the region, if repeat game is on, team changing. Uh, session creator name and stuff like that. You can see that what kind of maps are going to be involved with this, what kind of variants are going to be involved with this as well. So it's going to be very descriptive, which is going to be very nice to see. And also we have a chance to see that, yes, it's only going to be for Halo Reach right now. Other games will be coming in eventually. I hope Halo 3 would be the next one. I would assume so. But uh, as soon as Halo Reach is in a good spot on the custom game browser, we'll definitely move forward with that. This is also what kind of looks like the uh, creation tab looks like right here. See the session name, you get to name your session. Like for me, it'd probably be Blood Gulch all day long because I love that map. You can set your minimum amount of players, your max amount of players. You can set your regions. If repay game is on, allowing players to change uh, teams and things like that. So you can probably do your, eventually your classic zombies experience from Halo 2 back in the day. You can do that now with the MCC. Last bit here to talk about bots in the custom game browser for the MCC. If you guys remember with a recent news informational video I put up talking about bots within the MCC and how Rejected Shotgun and some of his friends actually found some of the game files within MCC talking about bots, like bots, they're in the game. And Postum did say about this earlier on Reddit, but this is like an official blog post saying that right now bots are really just made for testing game flow when it comes to the MCC. Within this development update, it sounds like they actually have full blown AI that they're actually like true bots and not just like standing figures in the middle of a room kind of thing. The postums did say here exactly about bots saying, I can personally confirm that in their current form, you do not want to play against them in SWAT. So it sounds like essentially that 
human error really isn't a thing that's added in with these kind of bots. It seems like they're just like, as soon as they see you, it's perfect aim and you're probably dead. Not exactly the best kind of gaming experience when it comes to playing uh, against bots, though these would be a great thing to add in eventually, say like if you have proper mod tools and you put the bots into the game for people to mod, maybe modders would be able to tweak the AI in certain ways so that you can have playable bots within the MCC. It sounds like like the work, the heavy lifting is there. They just need to tweak it properly so then it could work. 343 does recognize the interest of putting bots within the MCC and they like how people are excited about it. But right now there are just no plans for that to happen right now. But of course it seems like with the MCC never say never. But that's the current state of bots within the MCC. They're there and they're not really playable, but they're made for more for testing. But you never know down the line. If you guys like these news and informational kind of videos and want to stay up to date with everything going on with Halo, make sure you tap subscribe if you miss any content from me recently or banned loop for Halo for the last few days or so. Check out the videos on the screen right here. Got a link to all my news and informational videos right there. Thank you so much for watching. Greatly appreciate it. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out.